I love soft clams. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a full review swatches tutorial, everything, on the new ABH soft clam. Doesn't it look like clam? I know everyone says that, but it actually looks like clam. The soft glam palette and the ABH Omrezy highlighter. So this is not a first impression. Um, I know that a lot of my reviews start off as first impressions and that is because, well, frankly, I, there is really no reason other than the fact that that's just the way I was doing it. Now, what I have done is I have tried these products multiple times. This is not a first impression. I've used the palette about five or six times now. Over the last two weeks, I've used the highlighter three times. We're just gonna get in to the nitty gritty of everything and talk about the whole thing. So if you guys have been a subscriber of mine for a while, or even if you haven't, I've done subculture. Uh, I've talked about modern renaissance a ton on my channel. I love modern renaissance. I think it's amazing palette. One of my most used, I would say. Subculture was a huge flop for me. If you guys haven't seen the review, uh, well, y'all can't watch it. You guys will know that uh, most people gave it a negative review and that is because they changed the formula for subculture. Patchy, I just had trouble blending. The colors weren't true to color on me. A lot of people really Really loved it and then a lot of people really hated it and I happened to be in the hate group and that was the first product I'd ever tried from Anastasia that I was less than impressed with then she came out with prism um, I was equally as unimpressed with prism I actually ended up returning it after my review which I will also link up here uh, that one to me I just I couldn't get on board with it it didn't jive with it just like subculture for me it was hard to blend I just felt like the colors they weren't it wasn't my color scheme it wasn't a palette I saw myself using and after I had it and I tried it a few times I just thought you know what there's, there's no point to me keeping something that I'm absolutely not going to use I kept subculture merely to use it as a comparison for crappy palettes so today we're going to talk about soft glam now this palette is if you have not seen a neutral eyeshadow palette to me if you are looking obviously for something that's going to be everyday wearable this is what you're gonna want. Obviously, it's nothing revolutionary for an eyeshadow palette given the amount of launches that we see. The amount of eyeshadow palettes that live in this world right now is next level. The amount of neutral eyeshadow palettes, also next level. But if you love Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette formula, specifically modern renaissance, you might like Soft Glam because they changed for subculture and prism from what I understand and then they changed back for Soft Glam to the modern renaissance formula, which to me was their better formula. So I'm going to do a tutorial. Um, I've already got my eyes primed. I used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. My brows are already done, kind of. I ended up wiping my face a little bit Bit when I was on FaceTime and uh, without remembering that I had already done my brows. I'm also gonna go over the Amrezy highlighter in this. If you guys don't know who Amra is, she is a, an Instagram personality, stunning, gorgeous. I call her an Instagram model. Um, she has collaborated in the past on the Amrezy eyeshadow palette years back. I believe it was like 2015. Man, that was a good year. This is the Amrezy highlighter. And as you can see, it's a really beautiful highlighter. I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet. I, by the way, I purchased these both with my own money. I'm not on Anastasia's PR list. This is $42 USD. It is cruelty free. It has an 18 month shelf life. And in here, you've got 14 different eyeshadows shadows. Some of these are shades that are repeats on other palettes. Some of these are new to this palette. They break down to $3 per eyeshadow if you break it down for cost, which I would say is, it's obviously not cheap. This palette isn't cheap, but it's not insanely expensive like some of the other ones that I've tried. I'd say it's mid-range and I feel like for the quality of the eyeshadows is justified, but it's not like you couldn't dupe out something like this with cheaper shadows. I know that a big beef with subculture was it had a lot of kick up. Um, so did Modern Renaissance, so did Prism, so did Soft Clam. The difference between Subculture and this is that this has a great blendability, great pigmentation, great lasting power versus the other one that I felt was just a patchy wreck. I'm going to just briefly swatch the colors on my finger. Wow, my dry ass elbows are absolutely beautiful and I don't ever question them again. So here are the swatches for the palette. Obviously it has a very neutral, warm toned color palette. See, this is right up my alley. Lately I have been definitely gearing more towards the more neutral shadows. What's new? I'm a YouTuber. Shocking that a YouTuber would like neutral warms. However, I do love a good colorful palette, but this is something that I would find myself traveling with and I did to Mexico. And I find myself wanting to reach for it because it's something that I will absolutely use on the everyday, even more so than modern Renaissance because I'm not as much in 
in nowadays into the pink and red tones as I was. This is for me personally, very wearable and all the shades in here are something that I could create multiple looks with from light to very dramatic because it has that black shade in there and you've got a lot of different combinations of eye looks that you can do in this but all of them are of course going to be neutral looks. It does come with a little brush in here as well. I tend not to always use this little brush, but it's actually pretty decent. It's not a bad brush. And actually, if you are a beginner to makeup or if you don't have a lot of brushes in your collection, the ABH brush that they add in with these palettes is pretty decent. The main shades that I find myself gravitating towards in this palette are these four down here, Burnt Orange, Sienna, Rustic, and Cypress Umber, also Noir, and then the bronze shade up here. I'll probably do a look with most of these. I will check in here but a lot of these shades are not just specific to this palette, so you may get repeats in other palettes. But honestly, if you're looking for just one to take with you everywhere, for me personally, I think this is a really good choice. The thing is, is that we're all gonna have different opinions. A lot of people get really sick of neutral palettes. They're like, boring, I totally get you. But for me, when I travel, I'm a neutral look person. That's just what I do. So typically, like what I did when I went to Mexico, let's say I brought Soft Glam and I brought my Jaclyn Hill palette. I have everything I need in those two, but I never even opened my Jaclyn palette, if that tells you. But for more everyday looks, I really do feel personally from all the uses I've gotten out of Soft Glam that it's a really beautiful palette. So I'm gonna kind of do the eye look that I've been doing with this, but I'm gonna kind of make it more smoky than I have been. So the way that I've been starting off is going in with Burnt Orange here here on the bottom, which is a really nice uh, medium transition shade. As you can see, when you dip your brush in just once, you do get quite a bit of kick up. This is not new news. This is the case with almost every ABH shadow I've ever used. So I've been starting in the crease with this. This has been like the eye look I've been kind of going for with this, but it's not too warm. It's not like orange. Definitely has warm undertones, but the shades aren't orange in any way. So as you can see how quickly these shades blend out with minimal effort, I'm using the Sigma E40 tapered blending brush, which you guys know if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, is my favorite fluffy blending brush for the crease, especially for these first transition shades. I'm kind of bringing this up high because I'm going to be doing a pretty smoky eye. This is what the shadows look like when you dip in with very light pressure, just one dip into each. It's less than subculture, but it's still quite a bit. So now I'm gonna dip into the shade Sienna here, and I'm gonna go in with my Smith 230 brush. When you dip in minimally, it picks up so much product, especially with a natural hair brush like this. So be very careful, you do not need to dip very much. I love the tones of these. They're so beautiful. So that's what that shade looks like after dipping in with my 230 brush. Now I'm gonna go into this shade Rustic. I love this shade so much. It seems like it wouldn't be unique, but it really is. It's got more of a yellow base to it, but it gives this really cool grungy vibe. I'm just gonna run that over so that it kind of adds that depth. You can see how quickly an eye look comes together with this palette. Just absolutely, absolutely stunning. This is Cypress Umber. This is not an original shade to this palette. Uh, this is, I believe, in almost every other palette that I've tried so far. Or every one. Game, are you playing, Anastasia? Every time I like go off camera and back on, I feel like I look orange. What the frippin' crap? And I wanna kinda create a smoky wing. So I'm gonna kinda hold this at this angle. I'm gonna take some Cypress Umber, tap it off on the back of my head apparently, and I'm gonna create a smoky wing. You can do this with tape or whatever, but obviously I'm kinda just doing it chintz. Stunning. <laughs> it's not gonna work. I'm gonna take a little bit of Noir now, just a teeny bit right, right on the tip. <laughs> and I'm gonna take that right down at the base of the eye here. If it starts to look a little unblended, you can take your fluffy brush and just kind of go over it to diffuse out any areas that you feel are looking a little harsh. All right, so now I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna dip into this bronze shade here. 
I'm sure that's shocking to so many of you. We're gonna pat that right here. Mm. See what I mean? It's just so wearable. I'm gonna take a little detailed brush. This is the Sigma Detailed Lip Brush. I'm gonna go in with a bit of Noir and I'm going to just run that along the upper lash line. Oh man, story time while I do this. I had some uh, lash extensions on, which I did an update on in a recent video. I will link it here if it will let me. Wow, this morning, uh, I had like maybe, I had maybe like 15 lashes hanging on each eye. It didn't look good. You need more like 150 on each eye, 200, something like that. So they say absolutely never, ever rip out your lashes because you'll rip out your own lashes as well. And I was like, I never would do that. Turns out I'm not a very good listener. Um, I totally did this morning. I went into the bathroom. I put some coconut oil on my eyelashes and I ripped off every single eyelash that I had on, including my eyelashes. I definitely have about 75% less eyelashes than I did this morning. These eyes don't look as blended as I would like. It's also just so me. I'm having the best day ever today. We got some amazing life-changing things are happening to us. No, I am not pregnant. Nope. Hopefully I can talk about it soon. Just amazing, amazing things. And I'm just in the best mood today. So no matter what my eyeshadow looks like, I just don't care. <laughs> All right. So before I like move on to anything else, I think I'm going to go Toss a pair of lashes on real quick. If you guys want a tutorial on how I apply false lashes, I will put that up here if it lets me link it. It sometimes doesn't let me link too much. And in this video, I feel like I've said it 47,000 times already. So I will toss up here and I'm probably gonna come back with my lashes and foundation on as well. So I'll be right back and we will move on to that highlighter, bitch. These are the lashes I'm going to put on today. And I love, I look how beautiful these are. Scene queen. I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm gonna run Sienna Rustic and Cypress Umber and I'm gonna really smoke them out underneath my eyes up into that so that it extends. I'm gonna take some black right on the lash line too because I've been liking using black lately. I'm gonna dip into some Noir and just really focus that on the bottom. Once I get the black liner on, this will all really come together as well. It's pretty though. It's just a smoky eye, man. Who doesn't love a good smoky eye? All right, so I'm gonna take a black coal pencil and run it on my lower and upper waterline, really pushing it into my lashes. Oh yeah, bitch. This is Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in Obsidian. Ooh, this eye look is smoky and I am liking it. Let's see if there's any other shades in this palette I wanna mess around with. I might take a little bit of this shade here, glistening, and just pop that on my inner corner to brighten it up. Ooh, I like that. And this is a shade I'm using like a fluffy brush with a shimmer shade and it's actually working really well. Like look at the amount of pigmentation I'm getting out of that. So there's no wetness on this brush whatsoever and that's really impressive. All right, so I think it's time to move on to the highlighter. I've already done my like base and everything like that. So the highlighter, I'm going to give you some information about it first. We'll talk about everything at the end. I'll give you my full thoughts and review on everything. So don't worry <sighs> where to begin. I feel like this is a beautiful highlighter. Is it above and beyond anything else I've tried? No, I'm going to show you it real quick. And then I'm going to talk to you about the reasons I say this. I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics 140 brush and we'll see. So as you guys can see when I'm applying the highlighter, like clearly it has a glow. Oh it, oh it, oh it definitely has a glow to it. There is no denying that fact. However, I find that you guys can see, like most highlights, what highlighters do is they highlight the good and the bad. And for me, you guys can see that it highlights my texture massively. Now I did notice when I use other highlighters, it seems that this happens less. I'm not saying that this is a bad highlighter by any means. As you can see, it really has a beautiful glow that you can see from any angle. Like that is really, I would call it a blinding highlight. It is stunning. It's definitely, I would say, I would say this suits um, fair and medium skin tones, but I have seen people with deeper skin tones using it and having it work on them as well and not look ashy or anything. So I would say 
it is a very beautiful highlight. Like as you guys can see, as I'm using it, it, it has a really, really nice glow to it. It's $28, which is reasonable, I'd say, especially for ABH. Um, given that I love Ofra highlights, Ofra is probably one of my favorite highlighter formulas. I'm just doing up my entire face, so just ignore me. I really like this brush for highlighter. This was the BH Cosmetics 140 brush. It's just flimsy enough, but it really gets the product on nicely and you can really buff it onto the cheeks. You can see my texture quite heavily with it, as you guys can tell. I don't think that that's the highlighter more or less than it is highlighters in general, but still, super stunning and it gives a really nice wet effect. And with a brush like this, I far prefer it to like a fan brush or my Sigma tapered highlighter brush that I was using. This BH one is my favorite of all, which is why I'm using it today. It just gave a really beautiful glow. Do I look textured? Yes. Is it still stunning? Yes. I'd like to apologize if the damn light was blinking behind me the whole time. Okay, so final verdict on everything that I tried today. You guys can make your own opinions based on what you've seen today, but I want to give you my thoughts on the Amrezy highlight and the Soft Glam palette. I really like both of them. Uh, I think that both are really kind of, I would call staple products. The highlight clearly gives a really beautiful wet finish. Does it enhance my texture? Yes. I have textured skin though. I've seen it on people that absolutely look stunning and perfect in it. Um, I'm definitely, I think I'm gonna start getting like facials or something to like hopefully help bring down some of the texture. Cause as you guys can see, like an area right here, it just enhances it. However, it looks stunning still. Is it gonna be a staple highlight? Yeah, for some people I think it will be. It really is beautiful. When I first tried it, I did not like it. I was like, oh, I was really disappointed in this. Tried it with a different brush, still didn't like it. Tried it with this brush, really like it. So I do believe for a product like this, the brush really does matter. Um, for the eyeshadows, I feel like they blend like a dream. Are they the most revolutionary eyeshadows in the world? No, they're warm toned neutrals. However, if that's what you're looking for and this palette appeals to you, I would say it's a really beautiful one and I like the formula. I think it blends really nicely and from my experience, the longevity is great and this is modern renaissance. 2.0 in a more wearable palette, if you ask me. I, I like everything about both of these products. I think they're both a winner. They're not too expensive. They are higher end, so if you are on a budget, do you absolutely need these? No, I'd say a really close dupe to this highlighter would be the Balm's Mary Luminizer. Uh, I think that's a really great highlight. I also really love Ofra highlights, but those are actually, I believe, a little bit more expensive than this one, so. You've got that. It's, it's actually a pretty decent sized highlighter. I think that it's a beautiful one as well. If you're looking to have a really pretty product in your collection, I think that it's it's bang on. It's really beautiful. I love that the way that they did everything. For the palette, I really, really like it. I know that some people might be like, really, Chrissy? It's another neutral palette. You, you get it, but I have to, I can't judge it against every other neutral palette in the world because if we do that, we'd be here for like 18 hours. I can't sit here and be like, because there are so many other neutral palettes, you shouldn't get this one. It's up to you and your collection. If you already have a lot, you definitely don't need this, but it is really beautiful and I like the colors in it. I find myself reaching for it on over other palettes. I do find myself, I'm gonna definitely continue traveling with this one. It's small, it's compact, it's a nice palette. The pigmentation, the blended Everything about it is really spot on. I love the eye look that I created. It's very basic, but also it's, I like it. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's kind of tough. Like there's not a lot of looks you can create with this that are gonna differentiate from something like this, but you could create a really beautiful neutral halo eye. You can create something smoky and winged out like this. You could do something super natural with just like the orange soda shade throughout the crease or you know what I'm trying to say? So you have a lot of looks you can create with this. One thing I do like with this palette as well is that I feel Personally, and I have not tried this out myself, but from the colors that I see in here, it looks like it would be suited for a plethora of skin tones. I'm obviously very fair, but it looks like this can be used even down to deep skin because it does have that really nice pigmented black shade in there. Noir from ABH is an amazing black. It's probably my favorite black eyeshadow I've used from any brand. If you have a big collection of makeup already, you may wanna just add them to it, but if you don't, you're not gonna be missing out on so much, but I do believe both products are really beautiful and I think ABH did a really, really good job. I'm getting a little more boring with makeup the older I get. I think that's kind of just 
part of life. But I really, really like both of these. And I think I've made that clear, so I'm gonna stop fucking talking about it. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys purchased either of these? Are you going to get it after this review? Are you iffy? It is one of those products where I, I never wanna tell you like, yes, you need to buy this because it really is person to person. $42 might be out of reach. If that's the case, some brands that I really love that create really amazing eyeshadows for a fraction of the price, ColourPop has amazing eyeshadows that give you perfect blendability, so stunning. I would say ColourPop, Shadows are some of my favorites. I also really love BH Cosmetics eyeshadows. They do an amazing job. I love Coastal Scents if you need something really low end for price range, but really high quality. Coastal Scents has really great shadows. If you're looking for really good highlighters that are similar to this in finish, but aren't gonna break the bank, Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick in Natural Nude is absolutely gorgeous from the drugstore. You can also get some Essence eyeshadows that are, that perform really well. Um, some Maybelline highlighters are also really great. You definitely don't have to go buy these if you're just looking for something to look similar to this. But if you're all about getting, you know, the name, the brand, and supporting Amra, if you're a huge fan, then you may want to um, go give these a try. And I don't think you'll be disappointed with either of them. So that is my review. I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It lets me know what you guys like to see. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not yet. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff. So everything is Raw Beauty Christy. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. I can't believe we're almost at 350,000 subscribers. I don't know how these words are actually coming out of my mouth. Literally, like six months ago, I had like 60,000. I don't even know how this is possible. And I thank you guys with my entire heart. You don't understand how much it changes my life. Hopefully in the upcoming weeks, I'll be able to tell you how much this has actually changed my life. This is, I can't believe this is real. I feel like I'm living in an episode of Black Mirror or something. Kind of am. All right, you guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you at my next video. Bye. That was really beautiful, okay? <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs>don't judge the eyeshadow palette on my patchy blending skills, okay? It's always my left eye. My left eye is a piece of shit. It's not you. It's me. This looks really bright. And my... The Amrezy... Am I in focus? So you're telling me I came all the way up here, sat down, put my brows on, got my filming equipment together, and didn't bring up the Amrezy highlighter. Back for soft glam to the sub, or, <laughs> that's a lot of talking. It, they are cruelty free. It's got an 18th month. <laughs> this product is 42. This product is 40. Okay, get a different exhaust pipe. A big beef with... Wow, my eyebrow looks like dog shit. Uh-oh, singing girl, is at it again. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram stories, you definitely should. Because when she's out there doing her thing, sometimes I post it and you can hear her singing. If you didn't know, I have a neighbor, singing girl. That's her official uh, birth given name. She is singing morning, noon, and night at uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The other day she was singing at 2 a.m. with all the damn motorcycles and freaking exhaust pipes today. People are like going nuts out there. All right, this is Cypress Umber with, this is not a... All right, so I'm gonna do something a little different. I look orange. I'm gonna take a little, mm. Focus, you bitch. Always save the day. What? Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey Siri, you fucking bitch, don't ignore me. Hey Siri. 
Wow, your insolence is offensive. And what's happening right there? What's, what's this guy doing? Thank <laughs> you.